Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome to a first look episode of Snowtopia. I've just received a copy of this game from the publishers, uh, Goblins Studio. Um, the developers are T42 Studios, so here are all the uh, appropriate people that's been uh, involved in the game. Quite a, quite a group. And uh, yes, it's kind of a bit of a ski resort tycoon type game. So let's get into it. I haven't spent, um, I've only got a few minutes on the game. So let's uh, let's have a look. Uh, we'll get to know it uh, together. It's just going to be a short video sh showing off what this game is all about. I believe this game is releasing on Steam today, the 26th of January, 2021. Um, and it should be, yeah, if, you, uh, if you're if you interested, yeah, go grab it. Go grab it. Let's, uh, let's get into it. So I'm just going to pick one of these. Probably not a too difficult one. Let's just go with frozen peak over here it looks pretty nice lots of little pieces there let's get into it so this is our ooh, what's happening starting out hi what are you doing out here in the middle of nowhere are you lost there's nothing but snow around here what am i doing here i like starting the day with a nice bracing bracing walk in the icy air oh so you want to build a ski resort of your dreams in that case you've come to the right place to start with take a trip around the mountain and study its relief you can always hover your cursor over the entries in this list to get more information or open the game help indicated by the question mark. Okay, so this is our uh, little resort here. Um, it's got a fair bit of mountainous stuff next to it. This is a pretty, looks like a pretty mild little slope that we could potentially get in on over here. Um, there's a lots, lots and little, lots of little pieces. So, oh yes, we should be um, zooming in, moving the camera, rotating and opening the help. Okay, very good. Well, not a bad start. How dumb would you look if you didn't know how to get about? Anyway, don't worry. I've been making a few calls and some folks are really excited about all this and want to help you. You could use a few more helping hands around here, right? Confirm. Okay, so there's a lot of help stuff over here. Builders Lodge, a whole team has volunteered to help you out. Now, what you what what they need to set up to work are the materials and logistics. Once you have a functional builder's lodge, you can construct the rest of your ski area. Place the building beside the zone you wish to make your ski area. Builders will thus have a shorter distance to reach the zone they are constructing. Okay, fair enough. So here's some interesting pieces of so ski circuits and areas. So this is the snow front. Uh, what else do we have? This is an incomplete section. That's a complete section. So we need like a ski lift and a slope. Okay, that's fine. And this is a ski lift plus some slopes. This is called the ski area. Nice. Builders Lodge. After selecting um, from the construction menu, click the location, use rotate, blah, blah, blah. All of these good things. Builders have autonomy and speed stats and determine distance, blah, blah, blah. Fair enough, fair enough. Drawing slopes. Yeah, should be easy. Okay, okay. Ooh, slope safety. Nice. Okay, well, this is interesting. It kind of reminds me a little bit of, um, was it some golf or something where you built your own uh, golf uh, courses and things like that? Anyway, we're not going to spend too much time. We're just going to figure it out as we go. So what are we needing to do? We need a construction menu and we need a builder's lodge. There's some other stuff here too. So builder's lodge, I'm kind of, where do we do it? There's a fair bit of room around here. I'm, I'm tempted to just doing it right here next to the uh, next to the lodge. So if we do that, that's not going to waste any of our space um, on the ski front. So that's done. We'll put a few um, volunteers in there. What is this saying? Well, this lost. There you go. Everything is set to launch. Your first construction site. Take a moment to st uh, stand back and contemplate the mountainside. Imagine the magnificent ski resort that will soon be sitting on there. Um, on there. On there. Okay. Slopes, ski lifts, and all and also untouched areas of natural beauty. I can't wait. Can you? Okay. Fair enough. So I believe it works with like volunteers and you randomly get more volunteers or over time get more volunteers that you assign to your various buildings. Holy snowflakes, a ski resort in my own backyard. Um, it's like a dream come true. Can I help you out? Please say I can. I can, abs I can do absolutely anything. Where do I start? Don't do your head in about it. A ski toe <clears throat> and slope are all I need to keep me happy. If skiers don't show up despite uh, your best efforts, 
there must be a problem with the connection between the access point, the slope and the ski lift, or the ski lift could be closed. Okay, fair enough. So we will build a ski lift and a slope and get our first skiers over here. I don't uh, believe there's anything in the line of money. That's a little uh, interesting snippet over here. I'm not sure if that is something that's on the way, maybe coming in the, uh, in the future. Now, I was wondering, maybe we start off with like a mild little slope over here. So let's get ourselves our very first ski lift. So we've got a one person fixed grip surface tow or a two person fixed grip uh, chair lift. So can we know what's the capacity? 24 skiers per hour, 14 skiers per hour. So let's go with this one because it's got a higher um, capacity. So I'm almost tempted to uh, squeeze it in like something like that. And if we then take it up to about uh, here, there we go. I like that. That's gonna be our very first spot and we'll get a slope that goes down over here. So now we need to build um, a slope. So let's grab a slope. Let's do a large one or a normal one, 12 meters. Here comes the snow boulevard. Slope um, snaking um, among obstacles, comfortable width. Let's get the comfortable width, width one. Oh, that's a red. Um, so I'm, I'm not an avid skier myself, so it's gonna be, gonna have to have a look at how that works. I thought this is gonna be a pretty gentle, a pretty gentle maneuver down here. It seems it's not quite. Um, okay, well, let's, let's start it off over there. Ah, oh, that's a blue. Yeah, that's, that's, that's better. That's much better. So that's going to be a pretty decent little slope right over there. Okay, so all of this is under, under construction at the moment. We're waiting for some builders to do their thing. Uh, let's speed things up. So at least we can do that. We should be able to speed things up, get some people um, out over here. How many builders do we have? A new volunteer has arrived. So that's the kind of thing. They just keep on coming in like that. Let's get a couple of volunteers to work the, um, the, 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 the chairlift over here. And then over here we've got our first, and this is a blue slope right over there. Or a, yeah, a blue slope is what it's called. Here we go. We've got some people going up the chairlift all the way up here, ready to go. Um, there we go. Ready to go. Let's pause the game. Click on one of these guys. Ooh. I don't believe it, the first skiers have already come to your resort. Look at them lining up for the ski lift. They make their way up, they uh, whoosh, they zip straight back down. Ha, some of them are really bad. Even I can't, uh, can't ski better than that. Anyway, I've got to go. Uh, I have sudden hankering to hit the slopes. Okay, excellent. So we are, oh, I need to click on, on this guy and then have a look at this, right? And if I do that, this is on the blue slope, is on the chairlift, some, some basic bits and pieces over there. Okay, craving for a challenge, go on save at the moment with a slope, a ski lift and skis on your feet. What could possibly ruin your day? Well, I'll tell you fear, um, that's what, and if you don't get my adrenaline pumping, I get bored. Let's go skiing. It'll be so much fun. Everybody says, is it too much to ask to have slopes adapted to our level? At this stage of the game, skiers are going to start looking for a challenge. Slopes are suited to their ability, but not too tricky either. During construction, pay attention to how steep your slopes are and try to make them as uniform as possible. Okay, that's quite interesting. So this is, this is a, a variety of different things. So attendance is like six out of 100. Um, target quality is 100. There's lots of people out over here. I'm not sure if you can get an idea of um, how difficult this is or anything like that. Not really. Can we get an idea? Apart from the standard blue blue slope thing. Oh, here it is. Width, length, uh, minimum gradient, evidence gradient. Not really telling me too much more of that. Anyway, what's the next thing we got to do? Display skier history. So we can uh, click one of these guys. Secret history out. There we go. Display that. Seeing a bit of this going on. Um, aim the camera at a skier. There we go. And now we need to build a green slope. Okay, so we'll uh, leave that one there. So that's our first slope. It's a kind of a marginal one there. So a green slope is, hang on, is, is it the easier slope than this, right? I believe so. Yeah, green slope is even easier than this. So where do we get that? Oh, there's a guy that's, uh, that's needing assistance. And the ski lift needs a mechanic. Okay, so let's grab ourselves a mechanic at least. 
Can we just do that to try and save a little bit more space? I think we can. Probably do it over here too. Yeah, let's get the mechanic over there. And um, the other one we need is um, someone waiting for assistance. So I believe that is called the Ski Patrol's Lodge. Let's grab a Ski Patrol's Lodge somewhere up here. Is that okay? Let's, let's do that. I'm not, I'm not sure what the best, uh, best way of doing it is. But anyway, let's get these guys out. They can do their mechanic -y thing over there. So hopefully they can fix things and we get some... Um, some ski lodge guys over here to come and help people out that's kind of um, um, broken their legs or something I don't know <laughs> I don't know new volunteers coming in all the time okay now what we need to do is get a green slope so how can we I want to find out where we'll get a bit of a green slope going on that's a black one so how would the green one look like that's all black 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 Quite difficult, really. If we go here, ooh, this is a green one. Okay, so the thing is here, let's try and get a bit of a green slope going on, maybe from this side over here. So let's grab another one of these guys. I believe we'll be able to do that, and we'll just run it in over here. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Okay, so there we go. Now we should be able to get a green slope. I'm wondering if we just add it onto this one side over here. So let's get a large one. Ooh, it's not going to work through there, is it? Oh, it is. It is going to work through there. So if we do... Yeah, I, I, I kind of like that. So we'll just kind of widen this whole area up a little bit. There we go. That's our green slope. That's our blue slope coming in here and our green slope coming in right next to it. So let's just get a, bit, a couple of volunteers in here. Um, don't get too carried away. <clears throat> the first victory could be also be your last. The toughest challenge is still to come. Um, is still to come. Keeping your skiers happy so they come back tomorrow each time. Um, they return, they have higher chance of joining the volunteer force and helping out the resort. Oh, so that's what this is. So that's kind of your um, your your currency then. Believe an old ski dog, skiers must get plenty of rest to be able to get um, the most out of the slopes. And rise to the challenges without energy reserves, people cannot ski. High altitude food kiosks are a little rustic, but they are a great place to relax. Food kiosks. Um, and ski toes restore the energy of skiers who use them. Place them in a path of skiers and in sufficient numbers so the skiers can use them. Okay, so we need a few things, but let's get some volunteers working over there. And then that's our green slope uh, down there. Hopefully people don't go into the pole. Yes, there's the green slope. Now, let's get some of these uh, high altitude food kiosks. Uh, so we'll squeeze one in over here. That should be pretty good. We'll probably uh, squeeze another one in on this side. There we go. So there's got some kiosks over there. People should be pretty happy. And um, this needs a bit of maintenance. I believe that's what this is called. And there's a fair bit of a queue going on over here. And what is this looking for? This is looking for... Required maintenance. I believe a uh, grooming, uh, yeah, snow groomer is what we're after. A snow groomer's hanger. So if we, if we do this snow groomer right over here somewhere, at least we're, uh, let's do that, see how that works. I actually like that spot a little bit. So the snow groomer kind of does its thing over there. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, let's get a volunteer or two in here. Okay, now that's better. No skiing needs any um, skiing needs. Hmm? Now that's better. No skiing needs energy. So think about taking a rest from time to time. Who knows? Maybe you'll appeal to people um, in search of comfort. But for the time being, what you need are slopes. Okay, fine. Let's get someone to volunteer over there. We'll get a couple of people to volunteer on this side. Um, 
Let's just have a look first. There's nothing like skiing down a velvety snow, beholding the majesty of snow-clad peaks. But it'd be more relaxing if the slopes weren't littered with injured skiers. Can't you hear the cries or pain echoing through the valleys? With patrollers, now uh, snow groomers and mechanics, I'll feel a lot safer. Volunteers from maintenance buildings um, sally forth to help skiers and installations that need their services. Build enough of them to keep your resort safe. Okay, so that's kind of what we're doing already started uh, on that journey so that should be pretty good hopefully the snow um, the snow groomers hangar will be finished in just a minute oh there we go and we'll add a couple of volunteers to the mix I made uh, a list of all the accidents that can happen in a ski resort with snow groomers patrollers and mechanics the number drops from 3,602 possible causes down to 2,933 that's better than 60 seven percent of the resorts i've been to mm, interesting okay so snow groomer is on its way over here there's a queuing problem down here so that's uh, pretty much it it's good but i think we should uh, be a little more more a little bit more ambitious the ski lifts uh, could go twice as fast and twice as high the groomers could go twice as fast and the restaurants could serve twice as many meals you should check out the latest technologies it's crazy what people are inventing nowadays the research laboratory um, is a unique building um, you can assign volunteers to research upgrades in the resorts infrastructure let's go ahead and build ourselves a research laboratory now I'm kind of tempted to just kind of place it somewhere over here mm, hang on uh, maybe on no. maybe where maybe maybe over here yeah let's do the research laboratory over there and then hopefully once that's built we can uh, upgrade these things so we can move more people up those slopes volunteer assignment initiate the research project and obtain upgrades that's fine we'll do that oh i wanted to actually get a few people to work in the snow groomer so we've got one volunteer available but other than that, at the moment, people are 75% satisfied. Snowstruck lovers, sports club kids, new fallen snow. Slope waiting for a snow groomer. Yeah, we're busy with it. Building is closed. Which one is that? Oh, this one. We need a couple of volunteers over there. One, one, two. There we go. Now, let's do some research. So, adjustable tension. What does this do? Ski toes, minus two wear and tear, chair lifts, minus two wear and tear, that's okay. Um, that's an energy thing. Lightweight pole, ski toes, plus 20 uh, meters per second, and then this is chair lifts. Okay, let's, um, let's start doing that and try getting these upgrades. Um, load responsive grips, plus five max gradient. Yeah, so we're gonna just go, and go ahead and do all of this research, I think. That's the plan. That is the plan. There's lots of skiers over here, lots of them. Profile to resort six new profile nervous newbies. What does this mean? What does this, what does this mean? Skiers, slopes. So we've got two slopes. Um, I don't think we've got ratings for the slopes or anything. We've got a fair bit of attendance there. Lifts, they're working, maintenance, services, visitors. Ah, so this is like um, types of people. Okay, what's going on? Ooh, uh, no, so soon they'll invent ski lift like a ski tow, but one that transports skiers in a comfortable cabin. We could call it a gondola lift. That has a sub, uh, an awesome ring to it. You should appoint me as your official name inventor. What do you think? Okay, fine. Let's uh, pop in here and see. Let's get the simple gantry going. Your resort kind of cute um, in its own way, but I do have a few suggestions to make because I'm kind of special in my own way and hard to satisfy. You wouldn't have two or three hours spare to talk about it. I don't have much to ask, just a few blue slopes and some comfortable ski lifts. I wouldn't say no to a nice hot soup as well. Up to 12 skiers profiles can visit your resort. All have different needs. Take um, the time to study them and understand their expectations to increase attendance at your resort. Okay, now let's get that gantry upgraded as well. So I wanted to have a look at these guys, right? Researchers Resort. Ah, here we go. And the reputation, um, 6 out of 12 profiles is attending our, our resort. We've got 205 visitors. 
um, and we can have a maximum of 120 volunteers. We've got 21 at the moment. So here we've got a variety of ski guys profilers that we're going to unlock. But if we go over here, we can see we've got bold adventurers over here, 13 of them, and they would like a black slope. We've also got the sport club kids that likes the red slopes, which we're not accommodating at the moment. We've got a fair bit of people doing the blue and the green slope. So maybe just need a little bit more of that. But this is kind of what it says they need. So the snowstruck lovers um, would like um, things not to be too challenging. I'm not too sure how to read this. Not too sure how to read this, but anyway, what I think we need to do is uh, ooh, select a profile. I was just on a profile, wasn't I? There we go. Wow, you've really drawing in the crowds. If you keep um, on like this, you'll start attracting new skiers profiles. And when you attract new profiles, you attract potential extra volunteers, which is lucky because soon you're going to need new ski lifts to cut down on waiting times. Yes, of course we do. Now that's been done. Let's get this. Oh, that's another little message. Sometimes it's good to take time out. I should know. I'm constantly stressed out. To, so take a seat and check out my, your skiers. Have you noticed how they all look the same? Hmm. That's not good for your resort's reputation. You should attract new skier profiles to increase it. The more and more varied skiers you have, the more your resort reputation will increase. Check out the conditions for unlocking new profiles and planning your resort. Okay, so let's uh, let's start getting all the other upgrades done as well. Okay, now um, open the resort window, unlock six skiers profiles, and welcome five hundred skiers, gain a three star reputation. Uh, the resort one here we can see when we're uh, when we're going to unlock more people. Welcome five hundred skiers. Okay, anyway, I think it's time for another slope. Uh, we want something a little bit more challenging this time around. So shall we? try and do a little something from this side. I'm ultimately thinking about a nice long one from over here, but for the time being, what we'll do is actually, let's get this um, this done. We'll get the four person um, ski lift to go up on this side. Super, we'll do that too. So what are we gonna do? Uh, we've got some queuing problems, so we really need to sort out the queuing problems. We need more of this. Probably more, yeah, more mechanics. So let's get another mechanic going. Get that one up and running. So more mechanics should help things out a little bit. Uh, once this is done, we'll get the big uh, snow lift or ski lift. Sorry, snow lift, ski lift. Okay, that's done. What's the next one? Let's start working on whatever is next. Uh, this is done. So let's get a couple of volunteers in there. That's fine. Now, ski lift, we'll do the four person one over here. Up to about that spot right there. Yeah, I like that idea. I think this is gonna be a pretty challenging slope that we're gonna run down here. Um, and then we can ultimately do one up here and get a, a big long run over there. So let's see, what can we do? Shall we just do a normal? Is that black? That's uh, that's going to be black, right? So if we start it like that, it goes uh, a bit of a black slope there. Hopefully this is going to be a red slope over here. There we go. Let's do that. I think this is going to be a red slope in the end. That's going to be a pretty cool one. Let's get a couple of volunteers in here. Um, I would also think maybe we get some kiosks and things up here as well. So high food um, altitude kiosk and also a ski patrollers lodge right next to it. That should work quite well. So what is this one? This is a red slope. Yes, I like it. The idea of a red slope over here is pretty cool. And then what we'll do is we'll extend that over there and get try and get ourselves a nice big black slope to come in um, quite aggressively from this side over here. So these are built. Oh, there's another resort over here. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Anyway, can we get a couple of volunteers in here? That's fine. And that's fine. So what I wanted to do now is get maybe one of these one person, one person pieces over here.
That doesn't want to work. Too long? Really? It's a little weird if we do that. We can't get it to go up here. Let's try if we do a, if we just do a chairlift instead. Really? Is there some research we need to do here? Um, snow tires, repair training, dedicated storage area. Well, let's try some of these things. So that one didn't quite want to work the way I wanted it to work. But at least this is underway. Got people working here though, so they should be helping out um, people on the slope here. Well, there's lots of people. Lots and lots of people. This thing is working full time. He's also working full time, my goodness. Well, let's try something from over here. Let's try, um, if we do, they just really don't want that, do they? If we do this one. Oh, oh, oh. I thought we had it. I thought we had something over here. Oh, it wants to put it in on this side. And that's not quite gonna what, what we're after. Let's try this again. I'm kind of tempted to we'll keep going it from, from this one here. So if we try it from this side instead. Uh, actually, this will work. We'll just get these guys to come up. Just a little bit more over there, and then we'll uh, run down a black slope down here. I think that's going to be a, a nice, tricky black slope here. There we go. That's a pretty serious one, I must say. Now, let's add a volunteer over here. We'll just get uh, this one. We'll just take people up a little bit over there and that gets us to the black slope. Ah, that's actually not too bad. Let's see how this goes. Uh, we probably need another snow groomer and we probably need to do a little bit more research. So let's keep going with that. Get another snow groomer. Where exactly shall we get it? So we'll get it over here somewhere. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. We'll just get a snow groomer over there. Look at this. The guys are doing the black slopes. Here they come. They're uh, kind of dressed in the black for that. Wow, that's pretty quick down there. That's a pretty intense slope. Going up there again. Nice. Nice. Lots of queuing is happening over here. And we get a couple of volunteers in here to keep helping out on the snow groomers. Okay, so what else do we have? We're doing more research. Long distance walkie talkies. Repair training, let's get that underway. Okay, um, and so what kind of slopes do we have? We need 500 skiers. How many skiers do we have? Oh, 350 odd. Let's get another... Oh, actually I have a high altitude kiosk over here. For people to make use of. That's good. How many was the attendance on this? Not a lot, but that's pretty steep though. Even that one is not that well attended. These should be pretty busy. Hmm. Yeah, anyway. Guys, so I think that's where I'm gonna gonna end it. Um, I'm not sure what else we have. I mean, if we look at um at this, there's a fair bit of stuff that we can can try and move into over here. Let's get the soup bar going. What is that? Tea room. All kinds of things. So a lot of research that we can do. Uh, I'm assuming we can ultimately build fairly um, fairly substantial slopes that kind of come make their way all down here meander. And I'm not sure what else we can do within the resort itself. Uh, but anyway, that's uh, early access. Snowtopia. 
Um, it's an interesting idea, um, something that I haven't done before, the whole ski slope, ski resort kind of thing. So, and I'm um, assuming there'll be a fair bit more um, along the lines as this game grows. Uh, what is this? Let's quickly have a look. Um, slope difficulty. There we go. So we can clearly see our slopes. We've got some lines over there. Lots of people. We've got some attendance. Oh, you can see which ones. Oh, I love myself a lot of uh, good data to, to deal with. The topography. Ah, this is what I was looking for when we were kind of planning out some slopes. Um, appeal. Oh, this isn't a good appeal. That's interesting. That is interesting. And then safety wise, um, it's actually pretty good. There's a little spot here that the people are claiming it's a little bit unsafe. Anyway, lots of data for us to start doing our things with. So that's pretty cool. Guys, so if you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you enjoy this kind of stuff, I do appreciate it. If you um, do hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more things like this. Um, though I do uh, note that there's not a lot coming out on the channel at the moment, just because life is busy. Um, anyway, if you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you like, uh, think this game is pretty cool, uh, check them out on this Steam page, Snowtopia. Guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!